thanks to you, we get to see what really happens when you fall off the islands. Well, playing the blame game doesn't exactly do a lot of good right now. What does it matter? It matters because my entire city is doomed thanks to you. Hmm, I can't decide whether I want our death to be painless for my sake or excruciating for yours. Land! Impossible. That's impossible! Jesse? There! Can we get to it in time? It's gonna be close! Believe it. You, uh, doing okay over there? I just, I... I can't believe it. <sighs> this has been down here the whole time. I forbade anyone to look for land below us. It was too dangerous. A, a lost cause. How will I tell them? It's all just so enormous. Just, just grass everywhere. I can barely process what I'm seeing. What, what do I do now? Once my people see this, I... I have a lot of planning to do. First things first, we're gonna go back up there and kick Aiden's butt. Getting back up? My word, you're right. We need to do that. I hadn't even thought that far ahead yet. made some big mistakes. He's probably in completely over his head by now. I can't leave my subjects in whatever trouble they're in. Jesse, will you please help me get back to Sky City? Stop Aiden. My poor subjects. This is terrible. I'm doing it, but not for you, for my friends. I, yes, yes, of course. Thank you, Jesse. Okay, getting back up. Getting back up. Let's see what we've got to work with. Hmm, that'll work. What is it? Jesse? Get ready to build something huge. Maybe the biggest thing of your life. What do you mean? We're gonna build a tower of dirt all the way back up to Sky City. Grab as much dirt as you can carry. Oh, okay. That should do it. Jesse, what is that? Uh, what? What is it? It's the other half of the portal that brought me here. Got a city to save. You ready? I believe so. And when I get up there, I'm going to tear those blaze rods limb from limb.
need to get in there now. Go, go, go! Don't stop! Look out! Oh. Whoa, that was crazy. Are you okay? <gasps> what have they done? City is under attack by monsters, ma'am. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. Come on, we need to stop him. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save my people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? And to you as well. Jesse, you're alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo. Quick on your feet. But with all seriousness, how are you alive? I saw you go over the edge. Okay, quick version. You know how you all thought there was nothing but void below you? Yes. Yeah, that was wrong. There's land. You speak truthfully, my friend? No. Well, I can't wait to hear all about it later. I gotta get to the palace. Thank you, my friend. See you on the other side. It's like that, huh? Blade Rod! Aiden has taken over the palace. He's holed up in the throne room, throwing those spawn eggs everywhere. No one can get inside! We need to stop him. I know. Jesse, take one of these. They're all locally sourced and handcrafted. I use only the best ingredients. I think a potion of leaping will do just the trick. <laughs> Back down and get out of my face, Reggie! You're delusional, Aiden! The people of Sky City will never bow to you! You killed the Founder! Yeah? Well, you're gonna be next if you don't shut up! Now you listen here! I'm the Captain of the Guard! You can't just talk to me that way! I'll talk to you however I want, Reggie! I just... How are you alive? I saw you fall! You went down! You're alive! You're alive! He's the founder with you! Ah! What the? Reginald! Not one more step! I killed you once! I can do it again! Just hand over the chicken, Aiden. Hand it over before I make you hand it over. Just die already! Well, you had the chance! This was supposed to be my world! And you ruined it! Listen to yourself, that's insane! Why couldn't you have left well enough alone?!
can't stand to see someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win! Oh, it just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, look around you, it's over, give up! No! You don't get to tell me that! Leave him. He made his bed, he can lie in it. What? No! You can't just... How dare you! Stop ignoring me! Lying. There's ground everywhere. 
Jesse, I cannot thank you enough. You've saved us all. So what do we do now? Everything's just so different and scary. But exciting? What do you do? You go have fun. You guys were cooped up there so long, now you can go do whatever you want. I wonder what happened to Aiden. Stop right there! You're not going anywhere, Aiden. I'm done. I'm done. Now, this is just speculation, but I'm guessing they have some regrets. I knew they wouldn't get away. <laughs> what goes around comes around, am I right, guys? Attention! Huh? Attention! Hello, hello, everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky. It is time for us to run free. Build whatever we please. Wow. Those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Bah! I'm sure I do look like a naive idealist through the eyes of an oppressive dictator. Hey, both of you, fighting isn't going to solve anything. It will if I win. Oh, of course you'd think that way. No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves, be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build! W what do we do? Who are we supposed to listen to? Of course the people can build, but we need a system, some rules. Rules aren't bad. Well, I think you're both right. You don't want to just run around with no plan, but you can't schedule and organize everything either. People need to be free to try new things, but you've got to be safe about it. I suppose I still have much to learn. Thank you, Jesse. I don't understand yet, but I trust you. Well, Jesse, I suppose the era of Sky City is over. We may disagree about how to run this place, but I thank you for everything you have done. I guarantee that we will be telling stories about your visit for many, many years to come. The day that Sky City was liberated. Just try and play nice with the Founder, okay? I know you don't always get along, but her heart's in the right place. You know something? She was a little scary at first, but... She's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. I guess we should prepare for Nightfall, too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. It's been a while since I've had to start from square one. Ugh. Just when I thought my days of punching trees were behind me. Now you shouldn't worry so much. I've got our way home all figured out. When I was on the ground with the Founder before I totally found the portal. And you didn't say anything? Yeah. I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm so sorry about her. That's okay. Looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we gonna do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? Besides, continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. Now that you don't have to run everything yourself, maybe you could use the time to travel. There's a lot to see. Yes, that's a rather nice notion. How would you like to go explore some of those, um, very tall vertical rocks? We call them mountains, usually. Lovely. After so long being the founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend, Benedict. Ah, uh, that's a boy's name. Huh, what a closed-minded attitude. Jesse... I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well, there goes the Eversaurs. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. 
Are you okay? Jesse? No, I just saw those pigs and, you know. Oh, yes. He would be really happy to know you're still having adventures like this. See? Just like I told you, one portal back home. Whew, what a huge relief. I was worried we'd be stuck here forever. Ugh. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No! A little. I was just hoping for a real treasure is all. <laughs> Livestock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys. Let's go home. We don't Axel and Olivia here where we've been. They'll never believe it. That's not what I was expecting.